Okay. Can you speak for me? Now let's... Um, Ooh, that sounded lovely. Mm. <laughs> okay. Re, re, re. So you stay in the R feeling. Mm -hmm. Yeah, once more. Re, re, re. And then go back to the R and use up all of your air until okay. the end. So stay on the... On re, the re, re. Yeah, okay. Re. Oh, oops. Oh. No. That, I'm sorry, that was... Re. And that we will never, okay. never accept. <laughs> Yeah, that's good. Yeah. You feel all of that coming out of here? Mm -hmm. Well, that's, das ist zu Hause. That's where your voice belongs. Well, your voice should be at home. Now, um, and how what can... Happens, sorry, what happens in between phrases? So I'm doing that, keeping the pressure all the way. Okay, right. before, before we speak mm -hmm. too much, I want you to do what we just did, repeat it three times, okay? And just uh, don't try to make any extra preparation. Just you have to let go when you've mm -hmm. used up your air. And that is the preparation for the next thing. And I go again on the re. And just yeah. go again. Re, re, uh -huh. re. Mm -hmm. re. Yeah. Re, re, re. Go. No, 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 <laughs> nothing in between. <laughs> the first time you did it right. Okay. And that answers your question. Mm. It is this automatic release which is necessary because you have been in a good tension. Mm -hmm. You will automatically release and that will be the breath for the next okay. one. Okay, let's have the key of F major. Let's just do... Yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. uh, but I want you to stay on the because it keeps you honest. Okay. Otherwise, you'll collapse. Mm -hmm. Okay? And let go. Let go. Stop. That's when, you, okay. when I say let go, I mean stop the tone and see what your body wants to do. Oh, okay. Could we have a half step up, please? Yeah, that's starting yeah. to go here, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, so the, the place where your tongue is when you're making that R, yeah. just let the vowel come out there. Okay. Don't try it. Right now you're trying to make an extra yeah. vowel sound. Okay. It's just ping. <laughs> yeah, that wasn't quite as successful, was it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, that's pretty penetrating when it's mm -hmm. right. And we're, we're always, our, our subjective hearing, <laughs> again, we're, we're slightly afraid of this idea, especially now we're getting into passaggio, of having something that sounds like mm. it's going to cut. Like too bright. In some ways, mm -hmm. yeah, too bright, too penetrating, yeah. right. As long as we don't feel it here, and as long as we're uh, relaxed mm -hmm. here, it will probably be accurate. Okay. Yeah? As it won't sound uh, out, you know, it's the subjective thing. And right in that range, it's, it's most extreme. Okay. So please do it again. Don't be afraid of it. So let your tongue be, be very active and be independent of this. Okay. Yeah? Haha, -ha, easy said. <laughs> Okay, now connect them. Yeah? That's better. But you're still, I'm still hearing a tiny hole. Yeah? Yeah, okay. Okay, now this is, this is one of many possibilities. I talked yesterday a lot about different, uh, with various people about the sounded or sung consonants. And they, they can lead us into a, a, an understanding of, of the way this functions together. Mm -hmm. But you didn't actually, uh, tell me, how much did you think about 
leaning in here or not collapsing. I wasn't, I was thinking about sustaining the R. Yeah, yeah. exactly. And, and that is, that, that's, uh, that's a very important aspect of this. It is a result mm -hmm. in the end. It's what we want to happen, have happen, but it is a result. Okay. Let's do one half step up. <laughs> Sorry, that was, it wasn't much, but mm -hmm. it was enough. Okay. Okay. Okay, sort of, but be courageous. Okay. <laughs> yeah, make my head go like this when you start with that R, you know? Now you hit on those A's a little bit. Mm. This, this is, uh, I'm sort of glad you did it because it gives me the opportunity to say um, that we don't want to make it extra penetrating. Mm, okay. It will be the result of, now you held it, and that's the wrong kind of penetrating. Yeah, yeah. Okay. okay, you understand the yeah. difference? Yeah, concentration is, yeah. It's hard. Yeah. Glue them all together. Let's do this. This is uh, um, Mary just walked in, and I immediately thought of our Tai Chi. <laughs> okay, will you do that, please? Okay, and now you can do. We can do re ra re ra re. Let's do that. Yeah, uh, but, Abba, uh, <laughs> the, um, the R should be more important than the vowel right okay. now. Just for the purposes of this exercise, mm -hmm. the R shows you the way the into the vowel. Yeah. Uh, no, just, just equal. Okay. Yeah, but, but always get back into it. Yeah? Yeah, not really, yeah. Here, give me your hands. Mm -hmm. we'll, uh, so we're going to do, I want you to resist me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so at the beginning of making the sound and until I let your hands go. Okay. So, so we're, we form an elastic band, okay? But be, no, 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 I'm glad you did it, but it was wrong. <laughs> yeah. um, before you start making the sound, the resistance isn't there. Okay. Okay, so relax, relax, and then into the sound we have the resistance, okay? Yeah, okay, we're gonna get there. Could we have a half step up? Uh, can you do? These are all different ways I need to figure out how how it connects to your way of thinking. Uh, okay, so now we're, we're ballet dancer. It's all the same principle, huh? But with, you're really feeling the resistance of the air. Oops, that was a that was a collapse, wasn't it? You know, we were more successful actually when I was when yeah. when I was holding this, wasn't? Uh, um, will you put your arms out? Mm -hmm. What I had to do yesterday, poor guy. <laughs> yeah, do, okay. And your your big job now is rrr, okay. yeah, because you're you're sort of of course we want to sing on the vowels, but once more. Do it once more. That's a little bit better. So you feel that connection, yeah? That's where you, among other things, need to go. Um, will you do, will you do? She, 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 she. She. Yeah. Do it again. She. She. Mm hmm. So that you have a feeling it flies in here. Uh, we're in G major. Uh, could I go down half a step? She. 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 Yeah. She. 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 
she take enough time and each one you want to come in here okay. yeah use the sh she 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 it's too much air half down half step down too much air a little bit mm -hmm. she 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 now give me more sh she so this is a different version of the ksh. this is for a lighter voice i would never i would i would right now not do a ksh with her but the idea the principle is similar she so bleh. <laughs> yeah she 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 that's a little bit better but i'm seeing a whole lot of she you see what happens then from here on up she 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 that's a bit better that's a bit better so you start to get the idea of living up here yeah i'm feeling my jaw trying to help <laughs> yes well you're you're right in what you're feeling <laughs> you're absolutely right in what you're feeling and of course in order to form an sh you need a jaw movement mm -hmm. yeah um, I don't want to use the entire time on exercises because I had a little bit of a plan uh, of what I wanted to try with vergebliches Ständchen. And so let's, now you, you ask for a couple of exercises. Yeah. yeah. So let's, let's get into that. Uh, yes. Right. Well, it's and, and the bright and the brightest, yeah. All right. So, what is your explanation why, for example, for men with the a uh, and the a, uh, and a for for the tenor, tenors, yeah. I also feel it when I'm teaching. But why is it that this is the most comfortable for them, and we as sopranos have terrible problems with a? Uh? Yeah. This the, it's it's a very very good question, and uh, you know I've because because I have uh, experienced that so often myself with other singers i've looked for answers for that myself i think it is it may have something to do with the fact that i don't have a complete answer for that but i think it may have something to do with the fact that men sing primarily in the chest voice and so that is a more open uh, the 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 access to the chest voice Im implies a more open vowel so as long as we involve more chest voice than head voice then it's for them to have maybe, to maybe. I don't want to. I don't <laughs> want to commit to that. Uh, I'm. I'm saying perhaps. And what about general men's voice and women's voice? Um, uh, the, uh, this considering is the vowels, considering the vowels. Yes. Um, I. I think that. Um, sorry, but this is important. Um, I think that women need to modify more into the top of the voice right. than men. I think that men. Um, uh, as of F sharp primarily, but um, there are a few lower male voices that start to do this a bit sooner, um, that they modify to the next open, more open vowel, an E to an I, an A to an E, and so on and so forth, an A to maybe even to an A. But women need to start putting everything as of that point through uh, more or less an A. Ah, posi ah, 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 position, right? And uh, this is uh, this probably then would apply to um, uh, to vowels that occur in in the middle and lower voice to a certain extent, simply because of the registration. That is the only. But uh, it's it's a. Uh, it's something that I, I haven't found an, a real specific answer to myself. It's a legitimate question, but it's an interesting thing. And it's individual. Some tenors have an easier time accessing the top of the voice, um, thinking an ooh, a relatively closed ooh. Some tenors have an easier time accessing an a, or I'm sorry, an e. And, and then there are even a few odd specimens who <laughs> find their way in through an E. That's why I was talking about the different, are, are you an E tenor, are you an U tenor? Um, we don't really say that about women, no. but, but that is a, a very typical. So there, there are, uh, because I think of the registration differences, uh, emphases. Okay, yeah, good. So, we are hearing 
vergebliches Fernschirm bei uns. like this knab? I think he's like a little carubino. Okay, <laughs> all right. And what like does that mean? He's a very passionate young man and he doesn't really, he's just in love with love and, okay. and she's a little more of like a cynical, I think she's an older woman than him, like not by much, but. Okay, all right. That, that's, that's your that's choice kind of right the now. Image that's that I have. Okay, that, could we, just for the sake of, um, of what I want to accomplish with you. Mm -hmm. Turn that around a little bit and, and make him at least want to appear older. Okay. And, and not necessarily uh, this kind of carabino. Okay. But um, let's make him a little bit more, hey kid. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> because I, I, I think maybe we can get, there are two things I want to accomplish mm -hmm. with you here. Um, that, that we get this just a little bit more grounded. Yes. Yeah? Um, and and uh, that has something to do with the way you approach these characters, I think. Mm -hmm. The other thing is um, that, that we find, even though this is very speaky and, and lead uh, in general often has one syllable per note, you know, that's, that makes lead a challenge mm -hmm. very often. I want more line. Okay. We have to have more line. Otherwise, it results in tension. It results in your not being connected to your body. It results also in the voice basically not carrying very yes. far. This is a fabulous hall. This is so alive and this is so, you know, amazing uh, to, to work in here, but it, it fools you a little bit. And so we, we have to sort of pretend that we don't have such a wonderful acoustic, perhaps. At any rate, um, I want you to speak on the breath, going from vowel to vowel, mm -hmm. guten Abend. So we, I want it a little lower okay. uh, for, for him, just spoken. Go ahead. Guten Abend, mein Schatz. Guten Abend, mein Kind. Okay, now, how theatrical can we make this? Have you ever seen films of, of actors from, from um, the first uh, third of the, nine, of the 20th century? Okay. Some of these, the, the real orators, mm -hmm. yeah? Mm -hmm. Guten Abend, mein Schatz. Guten Abend, mein Schatz. Uh -uh. 
<laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Let, be, be, very, be very courageous, okay. okay? See what happens. You can, it doesn't have to be that low, but, uh, but I, want, I want it to sort of, maybe she's, maybe she's even at the first moment frightened. Okay. What is this? Yeah? Guten Abend, mein Schatz. Guten Abend, mein Schatz. Better. Now, can you still, can you go um, from more from vowel to vowel? So we almost have, well, let's do it this way. Guten Abend, mein Schatz. I'm exaggerating a little, but yeah. Guten Abend, mein Schatz. That's right. That's right. Mm -hmm. Do it again. Guten Abend, mein Schatz. What's different there? Just trying to carry the vowels more. Mm -hmm. Kind of sustaining them. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Let's just do that. Okay. Just that much. Yeah? Right there. Guten Abend, mein Schatz. Guten Abend, mein Kind. Okay. You're, you know what? You're, you're allowed, if you need, yeah. at that moment, to take a breath. Guten Abend, mein Schatz. Guten Abend, mein Kind. Huh? Um, but I need you to follow through. Okay. Uh, once more. Guten Abend, meine Schatz. Guten Abend, mein Kind. There, we're beginning to get some place. Yeah. Yeah. Now, we're going to, now that you uh, got that general direction going, can I have Guten Abend, mein, mein Schatz, okay. yeah? Guten Abend, mein Kind. Just, just, to, just to feel it. Okay. Speak it. Guten Abend, mein Schatz. That's hard. Guten Abend, mein Kind. Now, do that and extend the vowels again. Guten Abend, mein Schatz. Guten Abend, mein Kind. Okay, sing please. Guten Abend. Wow. <laughs> okay. Once more. Guten Abend, meine Schatz. Guten Abend, mein Kind. Yeah. Now that's beginning to work. Mm -hmm. So that we have what? Describe it for me. Um, it's kind of floating, right? It's um. It's your experience. Yeah, it's your know, subjective like it, like experience. It's floating, kind of like above water, keeping keeping the same phrase along. Very okay. Now, we're going to go back to our exercise, not back to the exercise, but I'm going to be the police lady here, and I want you to do the same thing, only you know. <laughs> you know why my hands are yes. here. Huh? Okay. Okay. Um, just singing. Singing. Guten Abend, meine Schatz. Guten Abend, mein Kind. Once more. Guten Abend. Can you use up more air? Yes. <laughs> yeah? Guten Abend, meine Schatz. Guten Abend, mein Kind. There. Now, we're starting to get someplace. Now, now that we've taken those steps, can you make this sound male? Okay. <laughs> Would one of our gentlemen, oh, we've... Lost one for a second. <laughs> All right. Would you speak, just speak it in Guten Abend, mein Schatz. Guten Abend, mein Kind. Guten Abend, mein Schatz. Guten Abend, mein Kind. Very nice. Okay. <laughs> this is your... <laughs> yeah. Okay. So this is, uh, this is your Klangbild. This is your, uh, I, to a certain extent, the idea of, you can't make that male sound. But somewhere in the back of your head, as inspiration, you need Himi. <laughs> okay? Guten Abend, meine Schatz. Guten Abend, mein Kind. Oh, everything except the Kind. Good, good, good. Yeah? Okay. Now comes the difficult. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, but you see, you're absolutely right. But if we, if we haven't gotten this first thing going, then, then, then the rest will, you, you won't find it. So, good. 
Ich komme aus Liebe zu dir. Would you say, ich komme aus Liebe zu dir. Ja, lieb zu dir. <lacht> ja, okay. Ich komme aus Lieb zu dir. Okay, ich komme aus Lieb zu dir. Ich komme aus Lieb zu dir. Ich komme aus Lieb zu dir. Ja. So, this brings up another principle. What you just did was much more economical, wasn't it? Yes. You were doing, ich komme aus Lieb zu dir. Can you imagine how many extra tensions, wrong tensions you bring in there that don't allow you any access to this? Now you just eliminated at least half of them and, and used simply what you needed. We, I, that was uh, with uh, Atalia the other day. We did something of that nature where it was, yeah, it was with the Minotti. Yeah, where we, we used about half of what you think you need. You, the, the idea of pronouncing clearly and properly is, is absolutely correct, but how we do it economically. Okay, okay? once more. Ich komm aus Lieb zu dir. Go on. Ach, mach mir auf die Tür. Mach mir auf die Tür. Yeah, okay, so. Yeah, so you get out at the ends of phrases, don't yeah. you? That's exactly where you collapse. Like, oh, yeah, no, I got I started it really well and so yeah, yeah. Ich komm aus Lieb zu dir. Ach, mach mir. That's as well, that's one possibility, but eh. I want to try this, I w because that seems to, uh, seems to connect. To scare me. It seems to scare you. Oh, that's always good. Then you learn. Ich komme aus Lieb zu dir. Ach, mach mir auf die Tür. Mach mir auf die Tür. <laughs> so you stay yeah. in until you have used up that air and you keep that resistance going okay. here, yeah? Mach mir auf die Tür. Mach mir auf die Tür. Mach mir auf, mach mir auf, mach mir auf die Tür. Hey, hey, mach mir auf die Tür, the last one. Mach mir auf die Tür. Yeah, that was a little oh, bit of, can you do mach mir auf die Tür? Because what I feel with you, with, um, also with your limbs, uh, you're, you're trying, and the idea is probably correct, to be relaxed, and I don't see so much of this shoulder disease here. <laughs> That's good. But I, I feel that, that your general posture mm -hmm. is a little sort of, <laughs> yeah? <laughs> and I'm singing. I'm a singer. I'm presenting something. So there is a basic stretching here. There's a basic good tension that's there all the time. This seems to be the theme right now, the idea of, of tension and, and good tension. Yeah? Mach mir auf. Mach, let, let's do the last two of them. Okay. And then. Mach mir right. auf. Mach mir auf. Mach mir auf die Tür. Yeah, mach mir auf die Tür. Can you do that? Mach mir auf die Tür. Go down. Mach mir auf die Tür. A little bit better. See, you're, you're collapsing here at that point. I've, I felt it. And so what can we do to keep you in? What can we do? It's partially a thought. It's partially a thought. Okay. But it's also, um, it's also the idea of, of not, ah, what, is, what is the word I'm looking for? All right. Make a crescendo. Just the mach mir auf die Tür. Mach mir auf die Tür. Oh, I can't. Yeah, do it again. Mach mir auf die Tür. That's the beginning. That was, that was a little bit here, wasn't yeah. it? That was there. Was there. Mm -hmm. But you see, you've gotten used to, I think, mm -hmm. you've gotten used to starting a phrase fairly well mm -hmm. and then it does this, yes. and then you have to then you have to start the whole thing up again, don't you? Yeah. Yeah, and and if you were to do what we were doing with the R exercise before, mm -hmm. 
The ending of the phrase is exactly the same thing as the release for the next phrase. Okay. This is, let's go back to our exercise for a minute. Mm -hmm. Could we have F major once more? Uh, uh, that was re, ra, re, ra, r, yeah? Re, ra. No, no, no. This one was, this one was all connected. Re, ra, re, ra, re. So, re, ra, re. Can you, yeah? Re, ra, re, ra, re. Okay. Part of it is, if I'm really honest, mm -hmm. is is that you're not you're not really releasing to start the whole thing. Mm. I thought I could trick you into it um, <laughs> by getting you up here because very often that works, but um, but it is the follow through at the end. Sometimes I feel a lot of tension in my stomach actually, like I'm trying to to keep it here or something like. As if, as if the diaphragm is your stomach. I know it's not correct, but it's just something that, like a mechanism that my body does sometimes. All right, let's, let's play with that. Mm -hmm. Why don't you, at the end of the phrase, see if you can just keep going, okay. even though you think that you're out of air. Mm -hmm. See, that will, in this range, that will continue to go in yeah. and will do this. Okay. If you thought that that was wrong, you better change your mind because that but is... Even if it's... If it goes yeah. all the way in. Now, if it's, if it's really right here, if it's at your diaphragm, if it's right up there, right directly under yeah. your rib cage, that's something that might happen way at the end of a very long phrase or while you're trying to learn this coordination, mm -hmm. it might happen a little bit sooner. But even there, as long as the pull starts here, mm -hmm. that's not so bad. Don't give up on this just because you're feeling this mm -hmm. pull here. Okay. That just might be support. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it just might be. I mean, we don't ever want to collapse mm -hmm. right here. Uh, we don't want that. But uh, perhaps while you're learning, as long as the pull is also there. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Okay. All right. Let's, how are we? Oof, we're beyond the time. I want, but I, I want this, the second verse because I want her. Okay. And I want two things from you. I, I want something really sicky sweet. <laughs> Yeah, okay. but but like honey, everything connected. Mein Tier ist verschlossen, ich lass dich nicht frei. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> okay. Mein Tier ist verschlossen, ich lass dich nicht ein. That was pretty good. Now, one thing that I've been noticing about you, which... Um, doesn't help matters, and maybe that's what you're referring to. Mein Tür ist verschlossen, ich lass dich nicht. How about mein Tür ist verschlossen? So it's, so it's actually an invitation at the same time as you're saying, no, 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 no. Okay. <laughs> so will you just walk to Amy? Okay, that's enough. Ich, yeah, yeah, so, ich lass dich nicht ein. Do you understand the difference between, you're, you're um, how should I say? You're a, very, you're, you're a very lovely young lady and, and you fall into this uh, category, into this Fach right now of um, soubrette. Mm -hmm. Cute, 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 cuter, cute, cutest. And, um, and I'm just going to be, I'm going to be, that's my whole personality. And yes, it, it forms a unit in a way, but it doesn't help you right now. No. I think you have to start bringing in a little more of the femme fatale. Okay in the way you think, so that there is um, a bit more of the sensuality, a bit more of, of therefore, the connection to your body. I think a part of this whole idea is not helping you. Yeah. 
Yeah? So will you do a vamp to Jimmy once more? And, <laughs> and it's all, it's, it's schmirando, as I like to say. It's all schmeared together. It's all, there's, there's no cutesy in there okay. whatsoever. Get, make him a little bit afraid. <laughs> what have I just been trying to know? On whose door have I been knocking? Okay, now that's going here. Now that's going here. But the beginning wasn't bad. But I feel like I'm, like you said, trying to communicate too much, so I'm leaning forward. You're, you're leaning yeah. forward a little bit, but you're not doing so much of this. Okay. You're one of those who's, you're not guilty of this one. You're, um, you're, you are guilty of, <laughs> if, if one will, of, of, of not uh, uh, allowing this re relaxation in between. And, but you were, you were starting to follow through. You know, that we all, okay, I gave you a, a goal, you know, to him. And, and so we, we tend to lead this way, yeah. Um, see if you can, one last time. And, and so we have a little bit of this, um, he's going to come to me, <laughs> even though I'm walking toward him, yeah. Again, the vamp. A vamp doesn't usually walk like this. Yeah? You know that word. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, that was better. I'm seeing, Esmond, yeah. Mm. So you are, you are literally right now. You are collapsing here. We're seeing it. You're feeling it in your diaphragm, yeah. but you're you're collapsing the lower part of uh, of your rib cage mm -hmm. as you start the phrase, and that makes it very very difficult Just for you to <laughs> follow through <laughs> yeah. uh, to sing in general. <laughs> yeah. Um, my suggestion and what we're going to do on um, Thursday, we see each other yeah. again? Mm -hmm. Yeah, tomorrow. tomorrow. Okay. Um, we're going to spend the entire hour doing exercises. Okay? okay? Mm -hmm. I want you to sing this, however, in the concert. Okay. Okay, so uh, between now and the concert, maybe we'll have take a few minutes for it on um, uh, tomorrow after working technique. But I want you to change your pictures until then about who these people are. Okay. Let's make them, um, uh, so it's not Cherubino and Barbarina, but this is Figaro and Susanna. Okay. Okay, for are instance. Are we singing um, one piece each? Or I'm one? not sure. <laughs> we have to discuss that. Okay. Uh, Do you want to keep a quick tip for this E? Because it's very difficult. It's, yeah, okay, that has to do with, you're absolutely right, there was, uh, it was hardly ever uh, there. That needs a lot more uh, of this, um, it has to do with registration, it needs a lot more of, of this air column, allowing more air. That's why I said mm -hmm. to you a few times, use up your air, yeah. use up your air, especially in this lower part of your voice, you're not letting enough flow and therefore it's, it's a constricted and you're not really, we're not really hearing the tone. Okay. But I think there are some other real basic issues oh. which, which need to be, but you're absolutely right. Mm -hmm. uh, especially bum bum ba dum bum bum right there, yeah. Okay, thank you. Thank you.